Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show, Dr. Dave Wendell and Amy Stopsinski joining us here, our experts from Shore Wellness Solutions. That's Shore's shoreswellnesssolutions.com. We want to point out that they're here today, obviously, uh, to talk about the work they do. Dr. Dave is a chiropractor. Uh, Wendy, you have your own accolades with Whole Food Nutrition. You're a certified clinician. Uh, there's so much more to you, so I'll have you guys. Sounds good. We're having a hard time hearing you. You're kind of cutting out. So um, all of a sudden, I'm not hearing any of your voice, but I can read your lips. So I'm going to introduce us real quickly. Well, I'm like, show. I'm checking my levels. They're good. Oh, my goodness. One more. I time. can hear you Dr. now. Dave Wendell, Amy Stopsinski. And we got them. Perfect. Shoreswellnesssolutions.com. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Great. Well, we are Shores Wellness Solutions, and we are a holistic wellness center. Um, we do everything naturally here in our office. So we offer chiropractic, we offer whole food nutrition, we teach people how to get white trash, as Dr. Dave would say, out of their diets and put whole food nutrition into their diets so they can eat the correct way so they can live healthy, long lives. We also offer thermography in our office, which is infrared imaging of the body. It can detect abnormalities eight to 10 years sooner than standardized tests. So it's a great tool that uses no radiation or compression. Um, and so you can check a lot of things in the body. You can check um, the thyroid and um, the breast and all kinds of different things to see what's going on before it becomes an issue. So we can do things like that. Um, we also have a therapeutic salt room, which is wonderful for relaxation and cleaning out the lungs. And um, we also do something called a heart sound recorder reading that checks the four valves of the heart. Um, it's a great tool as well to see if the hormones are out of balance, if there's added stress, if you're not consuming foods that you should be eating, it really plays a role in how the heart functions. So those are some of the things that we do here in our office. Fantastic. And also, uh, Dr. Dave, anything else you want to add before we get started with our topic today? We touched upon cholesterol last week. I know we're diving into that. But anything you want our listeners to know before we begin about you? About me? Let's see. <clears throat> Practicing, what, 31 years almost? Wow. Uh, we take care of people. I guess I used the term, we used it a lot last week, soup to nuts from beginning to end. Uh, a lot of women that we've helped over the last 30 years who were having difficulty conceiving, uh, just straighten out their diets and their nutrition plan. And uh, we actually have some Christmas cards hanging up at the front desk of a whole bunch of kids that uh, we've helped over the last 10 years come into this earth just by allowing their moms to be able to carry. Uh, so that was that's real exciting to see. Uh, Heart Sound Quarter, as Amy said, just a wonderful device. It only tells us about 80, 80% of the function of the heart, where an EKG will only tell you about 6% of the function of your heart. So it's really a fantastic device to use. And wow. Amy is the expert of that in this office. She's a bit humble about it, but she is the expert with it. And so we were able to feed a heart and get people's hearts back to normal without harmful drugs or burning a piece out or cutting a piece out. And it's just amazing watching people heal holistically rather than uh, succumb to, you know, harmful drugs and procedures. Amazing. Well, thank you guys for being here today. And I know we touched upon cholesterol last week. It's a confusing topic for so many people. Uh, there's a lot of myths that are related to cholesterol today. So I know we kind of want to um, dive into that, if you don't mind. Uh, tell me, first of all, what is cholesterol in general, right? And then let's get into, you know, maybe some people have high cholesterol. Why would that be? That's a very good question. Both of those are good questions. So cholesterol is a blood fat or a blood lipid, as we call it, and it's made up of different components. Now, people are, we've been told, oh gosh, where do I start? There's so much running through my head. Okay, so cholesterol became bad after we had cholesterol drugs um, to lower cholesterol or drugs to lower cholesterol. And we'll go into statins a little bit later. A good cholesterol reading is based on what the Framingham study has said since 1948, so it's a 75-year, almost continuous running study, has studied thousands of families from Framingham, Massachusetts area, and a good cholesterol for somebody in our age group, I call it the above 25 crowd. You might not be there yet, Jill. Um, oh, of course I am, but thank you. <laughs> 
200 to 240. And as we age, get above 60, now we're looking above 240 all the way up to about 330. And this is according to the Framingham study. And we say, well, why do we want it lower? Why did doctors and the medical profession want us below 200? Well, that goes back to a gentleman's work named Ansel Keys. Um, he had a lot to do. I won't go deep into what he's done, but he had a lot to do with changing things around and getting us to a nice high carbohydrate diet back in the 70s. And when we have more carbohydrates, side note, the average American eats about 2,500 calories a day. Before the high carbohydrate diet, it was 2,100 calories a day. Wow. That, that equates to an average of 26 extra pounds per American. Um, those of us that don't have it, others are carrying it for us. Yeah. And so when we eat carbohydrates, it raises our cholesterol. I affectionately call it white trash. You know, the bread, pasta, cereal, biscuits, muffins, pancakes, waffles, donuts, bagels, cookies, cakes, candy, pizza, roti, naan, empanadas, noodles, pita. Uh, there's so much more pie crust we can throw in there now. Wow, when, yeah. Yeah, when we eat that white trash, that causes inflammation in our bodies, and inflammation will cause a rise in cholesterol. Why? So the first question I guess we want to answer is, why do they want to push cholesterol with low 200? Well, if you look at the Framingham study, which is the only valid peer-reviewed study, and I always tell people it's the study you're quoting peer-reviewed. Uh, the Framingham study says if your cholesterol is below 200, you might get you're more susceptible to inflammatory diseases. It also says that if you push your cholesterol below 200 using drugs, statins, you are probably or most likely going to get inflammatory diseases. Inflammatory yeah. diseases. Do um, you want to cover that? You want me? Got it. Keep you're, going. You're on a I'm roll. on a roll. Um, you're looking at uh, cancers. You're looking wow. at inflammation in the body, arthritis, obesity, type 2 diabetes, um, deep vein thrombosis, stroke, you know, and the list goes on and on. And, you know, today's technology, people can, you know, duck, duck, go it or Google it and get a good list of inflammatory diseases. Wow. But cholesterol has been pushed for us to be below 200 so that we can sell drugs create inflammatory diseases and sell more drugs. And I know that sounds harsh and people be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe. Well, that's true. 1984, a good blood cholesterol was lowered to 240 to start getting okay. drugs. In 1997, it got lowered to 200, today's medical standard. In 2013, it got lowered to 175. That last move created 52 million sick people overnight. And so it's not about your health. It's about giving drugs and creating inflammatory diseases and conditions where we can give the medical community can give more drugs to for long term. And that's why cholesterol has been pushed that way. Wow. I'll take a breath. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. And Amy can chime in. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It, it's really causing a lot of inflammation. So it's kind of a catch 22. If you have a lot of inflammation, it can raise your cholesterol level. But yes. if you have high, or if your cholesterol is um, high and you're doing the wrong things, it actually causes more inflammation. So it's really important to be doing the right things, making sure you're eating the correct things and that kind of thing. And a big, um, a big issue that started a lot of it was the low fat diet. Yep. People started saying, Hey, you know, we need to have you on this low fat diet, mm -hmm. which now they're eating tons of carbs and things like that. They're, they're cutting out fat, okay. cutting out good fat, and uh -huh. it's raising their cholesterol and making them sicker and causing a lot more inflammation. So it's really important to add those fats into your diet. You want healthy fats. You want coconut oil. You want olive oil. Mm -hmm. You want nuts. There are things like that, that really causes a lot of inflammation when you cut that out and it increases your chance for heart conditions. And back in the seventies, any food they found that had cholesterol, like seafood, uh, particularly crustaceans, like shrimp, lobster, things like that, and egg yolks, they said, Ooh, that's taboo because it has yeah. cholesterol. We need the fats. And you're like, oh. our, yeah, our, most of our patients will put on a diet of somewhere between 40 and 50% fat. Our cancer patients, we want on a diet of about 70% fat. And the mm -hmm. ones that do that actually heal, use the correct term. Yes. So it's really important. <laughs> Good. You, I guess you want us to keep going. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. Please feel free. We can go. Absolutely. Okay, so you hear a lot about HDLs and LDLs. 
so confusing the happy face the sad face like it's it really happy and sad is it <laughs> no it's not and yeah so, you mentioned that last week and that's where it's confusing a big question for all your listeners and viewers to ask their doctors about ldls which is considered the bad cholesterol yeah can i live if the number is zero because i'm seeing a lot of blood tests come back now where it says uh zero to 100 is the range not just less than 100 but zero to 100 and same thing with cholesterol, zero wow. to 200. Okay. And so I would ask your doctor that question. Hi, hey, if my level's zero, can I be alive? But yeah. back to LDLs and HDLs. Okay. They're, they're lipoproteins. So LDLs are low density lipo, uh -huh. HDL, okay. high density lipoproteins. Easy way to understand this is you go to the supermarket, you fill up bags of groceries, and let's say you have two full bags of groceries. But after you use the groceries and the packaging and everything else, you're left with one bag of condensed garbage. Got it. So your LDLs, your low density, are your, your full bags of groceries that you just got. Your mm -hmm. HDLs are the garbage, the condensed stuff. LDLs, oh, first off, cholesterol is made in the liver. LDLs, which are uh, considered bad, but they're not. They're really good. Take cholesterol from your liver, bring it out all over your body. Brain repair, heart function, nerve function. Um, for hormonal uh, function and generation of hormones, really important. HDLs take the old used cholesterol from your body and bring it back mm -hmm. to your liver to be reprocessed or excreted. Okay. So why do LDLs get the term bad? Well, because they take cholesterol out to your body and most people have a higher cholesterol than what is medically wanted. The average American is in the 220s. And so they call it bad because it's bringing cholesterol out to the body. The only time, the only time LDLs are bad is if they're oxidized. Okay. So the question we should ask is what causes them to oxidize? Oh, yeah, I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> but what does it mean to be oxidized? What does it mean? Yeah, yeah that too. Know. So what does that cause? Uh, so that's going to cause heart conditions right. and things like that. Plaque, it'll Plaque cause plaquing okay. in the brain, plaquing in the heart mm -hmm. and the Yep. Thank you for keeping me straight. Yes. Ah, we know what that so, good. so we want to make sure that everyone understands that. Um, the LDLs. Yes. If it oxidizes, it causes plaque, which is what you don't want on your heart. Mm -hmm. so, and that happens by eating the wrong things. That's eating a high fat diet like pizza and the high carbohydrate. Diet. Yes, exactly. You all the things, muffins, bread, all those things that people are like, oh, I need to eat all of this, but that's incorrect. You don't want that. You want good fats, but you don't yeah. want carbohydrate fats. Mm -hmm. Is what it, is going to cause the placking. It's not going to be the cholesterol. Right. So when you eat the white trash, the carbohydrates, that's what causes the LDLs to oxidize and then plaque. And if it's placking in the brain, you're looking at dementia, Alzheimer's, um, possible strokes. If it's placking in the heart, you're looking at different heart disease and circulatory issues. Now, you, now I won't go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> Is it too complicated? <laughs> no, I don't want to offend people um, too much. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh, there's, a, there's a substance out now that's called graphene oxide. And so that accelerates placking in the body. Yeah. Okay. And and that is uh, just graphene oxide is only distributed through man-made substances on the medical side. So we'll leave that we'll leave that alone for right now. All right, perfect. And um, Amy, I mean, do you want to talk more about um, you know some more of the studies with heart disease? Did you want to talk about some of the effects of uh, statins? Uh, what are statins? I know we're going to talk about that soon. <laughs> So statins are the medications that they give you to lower your cholesterol, but there's a lot of side effects by doing that. So for one, first, if you lower your cholesterol too low, now you increase inflammation in the body. So now you have a lot more aches and pains and things going on where the body's not functioning well. Mm -hmm. um, also by taking a statin, it can cause headaches muscle aches, lower back pain, side pain, difficulty sleeping, nasal congestion, runny nose, constipation, and the list goes on and on. So a lot of times now you, you take the statin, um, yeah. so you can lower your cholesterol. Right. Now you have more inflammation. You're oh. not, your body's aching. You have all these pains and now you're trying to figure out what I need to do. So now then people go down another rabbit hole and they start taking anti-inflammatory medications, which end up backing up your liver, which 
your liver pulls toxins out of the body. So then if your liver isn't working well, you can't pull the extra toxins out of the body. Mm -hmm. So then that backs up. So it just snowballs into making you more and more sick. So it really makes sense to do the right things. Let's clean up our diet. Mm -hmm. Let's reduce stress because stress also plays a big role in raising your cholesterol. Mm -hmm. So it is very important to, to take care of yourself. And I know we have jobs and we have things in our life that is stressful, but we also need to take a moment to do things to de-stress, whatever that looks like for you, whether it's going and taking a walk and just clearing your head, listening to music and dancing around the living room. That's okay to do. Just taking a nice bath, anything that you can do, meditating, um, just to do something every day five minutes even just to reduce that stress is going to play a big role in lowering your cholesterol as well. We want to make sure we're adding those good fats into our diet. Mm-hmm. You want to make sure that you're adding those nuts and, and um, even olives, olives are good. Oh, fat. Yeah. Those are great great things, you know, trying to think of all the good things that you can do to add, but cutting out all the excess sugars, which is going to cause more inflammation in the body, getting rid of all the pizza and the bread and the muffin and all of those things and finding alternatives to eating those things. Mm -hmm. Miss anything? No, you covered it all. It's awesome. Guess we're done. No, we are (laughs) not done. Oh, we still got 15, 14 minutes left. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right. Keep continue, please. So there's also, I mean, we didn't even touch base on this. So we do talk a lot in our office about whole food supplements. So there are differences between the two things, (laughs) you know, um, there's whole food supplements, which is all Mm -hmm. that we use in our office. Basically, um, when it says kale and Brussels sprouts, they pull it out of the ground, pulverize it into the capsule. And those are the things that we use to help your body heal and repair. When you use a synthetic supplement, something that is created in a lab that you find at most stores, the liver has to work twice as hard to process it. And we don't want to put more strain on the liver. So you, there are lots of supplements you can take, but to just go to the store and go over the counter and pick something off the shelf, you're only getting a piece and a fragment of it. You want the whole component so your body can do what it needs to do to heal and repair. So there are some supplements if your cholesterol is too high. Now there is such a thing as cholesterol being too high, mm-hmm. 330, mm-hmm. right? He's my numbers guy. Uh-huh. Uh, but um, I, yeah, I have most of it down. I don't always know the exact numbers, but 330. So if it's above 330, you know, you start getting up there really high, you are going to cause other issues, but there are things you can do naturally as well. Besides changing your diet, reducing your stress, there are mm-hmm. whole food supplements you can take to help to lower that co- cholesterol. Mm-hmm. Do you want to go over a few of those? Well, my favorite to lower cholesterol using whole food supplements would be the purification program. I think we're covering that in another week or so. Yeah, we oh. we're going to be discussing that in full detail, um, okay. our purification program. And I don't know if it's next week or the following week. But when people do that, basically they're most, if not all, their blood values get right down into the normal range. Cholesterol, LDLs, HDLs, your VLDLs, uh, think of those as very bad cholesterol parts. Um, so those all balance out nicely. It's pretty incredible what can happen in 21 days um, with that. Um, yeah, it's very, it's basically a jumpstart program. It's going to teach you the right foods to eat. So you can start incorporating them into your diet. You're going to be taking some whole food supplements as well. So your body can get rid of the inflammation. It can really start feeling good. You have energy so you can start moving and doing things again. Um, it's going to give you some shakes. That's going to have lots of whole foods in it. Um, just to supplement your body, what it's been lacking for so long. Um, and it's an easy thing because if you can do something for 21 days, it's a really good jump start to a lifestyle change. All of those things you can continue with afterwards. It has a great recipe book that gives you wonderful recipes and things that you can try and eat. So you can understand ways to eat that you can do for a lifetime. It's not about doing something for a short term period. We want to teach people how to do things long term so they can have a healthy life, not just for a week. We want you to be healthy for a long period. And it's more lifestyle changes rather than diets. We don't, we don't put anyone on a diet. We tell them the things they need to start adding in 
and we help them take out the things that aren't the best and replace it with something else. Because it, if it's not sustainable, you're not going to continue doing it. So mm-hmm. it's pretty important to have those right things and learn that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, we had a woman start with us last July. So she's in her early 60s. And for six decades, she's had digestive issues. And so we put her on some whole food supplements. And three days later, she gave me a call. I said, what's going on? Everything okay? She said, what did you give me? So Mm -hmm. I explained what we gave her. And she said, and I asked why? She said, because it's the first time in 60 years that I don't have a digestive problem. Wow. And this is with ulcerative colitis and for eight months and the, the final stage that led her to us. Uh, and just incredible how her body has healed from that and the things uh, that she can now do that she wasn't able to. The nice part is uh, because of that, we ended up with another patient last week, a young lady in her early 20s, um, same issues. And so we'll find out in a couple of days. We can tune in next week. We can give you the results. Um, but I love it. Hopefully she'll be able to get her life back. Other than work, she pretty much stays at home because of her digestive issues. And it shouldn't be that way. Mm-hmm. You know, we mentioned earlier in the show about women uh, with pregnancy and stuff. You know, if there's miscarriages going on, there's something going on in the body that can't sustain life. One of the biggest things that we found, which feeds right into today is fats, fats in the body. It's been so taboo in our society that fat is bad. That's not true. And when we put fats back in the diet, like we said, get people's diets up to 50, 60, 70% fat, it's really life-changing and helps to decrease the inflammation and give people their life back. And that's what we like to see. Beautiful. Well, I love the work that you're doing and clearly you're here to help so many people. Let's remind them of your contact information before we continue. We're Shores Wellness Solutions and you can find us at shoreswellnesssolutions.com. We're also on Facebook. We're on Instagram, working on the TikTok things for my TikTok. I know, I know. (laughs) There are a few videos we're working on adding more to that. Um, so you can look for us in those areas. Um, our physical office is in Roseville, Michigan, and you can reach us at 586-445-8032. Perfect. We still have some time left here to continue our, our uh, discussion. And obviously you're big with supplements and we talked about the whole food, um, you know, in general, but what you can help people with eating right and also supplements can actually help us, um, you know, get, uh, well, I guess, raise or lower your cholesterol, whatever is more important. Um, do you want to add any more to, to that? I mean, what type of supplements in particular? So we use a company called Standard Process and our herbal company is Herb. Standard mm-hmm. Process from Palmero, Wisconsin. They have a beautiful thousand acre organic farm. Uh, they will get sweet potatoes on that, the size of your head, which is incredible. Yes, the size of your head. Uh, Medi Herb comes out of Australia and they are incredible. Whole food means just that, the whole complex, nothing missing, no heat processing, no chemical processing. When you buy supplements at the store or most of what's online, they are chemically formulated mm-hmm. or chemically stripped. So you're just buying a piece or a fragment. And I always equate that to, it's like going to an auto parts store, buying a steering wheel and showing everyone your brand new car. And so mm-hmm. our supplements give you the whole car, not just a piece of it. Exactly. Standard process too. Um, if you go into their facility, it is literally the cleanest facility you will ever be in. You could eat off of their floor in any one of the rooms. Um, in the facility where they make these supplements. So it's a wonderful place. We trust them very much um, with what we're giving you and what we're putting into your body or what we're recommending for you. And a lot of times people will ask the questions, um, you know, well, I'm on medication right now. Can I take these with that? Well, if there's a food that you can't eat, then we might have to look into changing the supplement based on that. Like if you have a shellfish allergy or something like that, but If you're taking a medication and you can eat any foods, you can take our supplements that we're going to recommend. And so it's really important to know that when you're doing a whole food um, supplement, your body knows what to do with it. And it's not going to interfere with other medications as well. Awesome. And in general supplements, right? I know we're talking about cholesterol, but also this company, you can custom tailor, uh, you know, what somebody needs in their body. Could you explain that process? And they start with you. Um, is there still that special going on for the initial um, uh, cost of the, the, the consultation? We talked about it last week. 
Yeah, we yes. can we can honor that this month. I'll let it go for all of December. Oh, so and it, it was I wasn't yes. sure. I'm trying to remember. Yes. Was it yes. like yes? So for forty seven forty nine or there you go. Okay, I don't want to say like, right. Oh my gosh, I forgot what we were talking about. Thank you. So yes, for forty nine dollars, if you're in the area. Um, come in, we'll do a consultation um, with you to go over your concerns. And if you have blood work, we always ask that you send that to us ahead of time. We look at blood work differently in our office. And so um, by checking those things, we can make sure we get you on the right specific supplements based off of what we read the blood work. Um, also, we would do a heart sound recorder reading because mm -hmm. checking the four valves of the heart is going to tell us a lot about how the heart is functioning going to talk about your hormones, your stress levels, foods that you're eating, if you're lacking um, certain vitamins and things like that. So we can make sure we can check that. Now, if you're not in the area, we would do it a little bit differently. Obviously, we mm -hmm. can't check your heart if you're not in the area. But if you're online, we would do the same thing, a consultation, but we would send you a symptoms survey. Okay. Now, what's important to know, there's a lot of questions in there. And we're going to be asking you the same questions multiple times, but in different categories. So it's mm -hmm. very important to fill that out completely. That's going to help us um, get a better understanding of what category and what we want to focus on first, because we work on um, correcting the primary issue first. We find that if we can correct the primary area of concern first, all the other symptoms tend to start being corrected as well. So um, those are things that are important to know. And we can see you whether it be in person or online via telehealth as well. Perfect. And let's remind everyone how we could reach you guys. I'm going to go or you want me go to ahead. go? We are shoreswellnesssolutions.com. And our phone number is 586-445-8032. Um, give us a call. We'd be happy to answer any questions. You can also send a message right from our website as well, or on Facebook. Um, we are taking messages all the time. And we'd be happy to get you scheduled to see um, if and how we can help you. Can I throw one other thing in for whole food nutrition? Sure. Please. So we have almost 500 different supplements that we use. And I can tell you in the 20 plus years I've been using the supplements, I've never had the same combination go to two people because everyone is just so unique and different. Really? Yes. No, which is the same thing. So There's no combination. On what we find, you know, there might be similarities, but yeah. no two people have ever had the exact same supplements and dosages. Awesome. Well, thank you guys again for being here for joining us. And anything else before we go? Well, I just want to remind you that I'm Amy. And this is Dr. Dave from Shores Wellness Solutions. And we want to be your inspiration. For healthy living. Clearly you are. Thank you so much. All right. So we, we tackled cholesterol next week. Do you know what's in store for us? We're going to be talking a little bit more about our therapeutic salt room. I figured we're going to go into some different details about the different services that we have, um, how that will help with yep. asthma, allergies, and things right. like that, um, and go into a little more detail about supplements and things that will help with that. If you're not in the area, we can still help as well. This is just an added benefit for our office. Um, so we want to share that a little bit next week. And Heck, if you're not in the area, take a trip. <laughs> you might yeah. as well. Great. Perfect. Thank you Perfect. again, guys. You have a fantastic day. Thank you uh, for being so thorough. And thanks for the tease for next week. We'll see you then. Same time, same place next week. Have a good one. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. 
when I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.